Hi there, I'm Matt Venn and I'm going to use this short video to explain to you how my upgradable electronics toy works. Here's a quick demo of what we've got so far. I've got a flashing status light here and on and off switch. I've got a couple of buttons and four sockets for her to plug some wires in. And here's a demo of the wires. Plug one in here. And believe me, if she can get these plugged in, then she'll deserve that sound. Here's an example of a similar kind of thing. This is a counting toy that was um, in the internet news a, a couple of years ago. And the thing that struck me was it was so beautifully made. And wouldn't it be great if kids' toys were really nicely made and they lasted a long time rather than being chucked away or recycled really quickly? Here's what we've got in the box at the moment. It's a bit of a work in progress. The thing I'm struggling with is keeping the components down to stuff that we can buy every day off the shelf so that it encourages other people to have a go at making this while still making it as functional as I want. And the thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is getting the power supply working so that I can charge it up, charge the battery, um, use it, have it boot up quickly and then also be able to satisfy the Hackaday Prize requirement which is to share data. Now I don't want the Wi-Fi key to be on all the time or maybe there's not even going to be Wi-Fi inside it but if you do choose to share usage data with child psychologists then you could perhaps plug in a USB stick and it would then recognize that and copy an anonymized log onto the USB stick for you to then upload. Finally here's an idea for another front panel. I'd love to reproduce the Lime DL4 looper on the uh, kids toy because I really loved playing with it myself and I think my daughter would really love having a a looper at her disposal. 